Hi lovely Air Signs, Jenny here from Joy Energy Tarot. This is your intuitive reading for the week of March the 25th to the 31st. I hope it resonates with you. I love all your comments, so thank you so much for watching. And if you wait till the end, you'll get your own individual message. Okay, what's happening for you guys this week? <laughs> well, you start off with your head down the toilet. Uh, Page of Cups. This is where some sort of offer is coming in and you've got to work out. <laughs> Is it going to make you feel like shite or is it going to make you grow and feel good? So you have to break through any illusions and work that out for yourself. But I feel it's to do with home and to do with family because right next to it you've got the chariot clarifying it. So the, the chariot's amazing. This is where you've learnt from the past. This is overcoming family karma, family karma that's been carried down through the generations. You are victorious. You're overcoming all of your challenges and now you're able to move forward. You have got the reins. You are in control of your life. And I feel like you're now ready for that next phase. You're moving forward. Um, you're choosing which way and which direction you want to go into. This can represent overseas travel for some people, and it can represent a new vehicle. Then you have the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is information that's coming in, and like um, it's full of energy, though. It's something that comes in, you think, oh, yeah, this is great. Yeah, I want to do this, or do I want to do it? So you've got to work out what is the thing that you really want. That It's information. And then you've got the magician. So the magician is like number one. You've got the ability to make your dreams come true. You've got the ability to manifest what you want. You've got the ability to take control and um, talk other people into your way of saying things. Oh my God, I've just realized what a, um, an amazing reading. You've got the chariot, the magician, the sun and the star and the death card. Wow, something really important is happening for you guys this week. That's an absolutely karmic thing to have so many major arcana cards. So from the magician, yeah, lots of information coming in too. Phone calls, emails, things like that. But you can reply and turn it around to suit you because you guys have the ability to do that. But when you do that, you're going to be feeling fantastic. So whatever that news is that's coming in too as well is going to make you feel great the sun is all about yes the answers yes I can do it it's positive it's what I want to hear you're very very happy about this and it's about the ace of wands that can be like a new job a new position a promotion something like that something something that's physical a new car um, but it's the beginning of something really new that is very, very positive. It's a great change. And you've also got the star card. So some of you could be quite famous. Having the, star, the, sun, and the sun and the star next to each other, and sometimes that can be the world and the star, but having positive things like that right next to each other is amazing. It's like um, when you wish upon a star makes no difference who you are. So something you're planning, something you've been working on is going to start coming true. The star card is like divinely guided from above. Your um, ancestors, your guides, anybody you believe in is looking after you and guiding you. And it's bringing about huge changes. And you've got the death card. So that's like... The way your life has been is just going to change completely and you're starting on a new journey. It's the ending of how things were and now things are going to be really, really happy, this new beginning. Look at the sun shining behind it. So you've got the death card and you've actually got the sun card. So your life is transforming and you are transforming because of this new beginning and this success. And then covering the whole reading, you've got the eight of swords. So some of you have been feeling very, very trapped holding on to the past, holding on to negative thinking. So this is covering that reading, but you've got all these wonderful new things coming. So hopefully that's going to help you release this. This can be where you've been let down in the past and things haven't worked out. So you're still thinking, oh my God, that's going to happen again. No, this can represent too feeling trapped. So that trapped feeling I feel is about to change. And then you've got the Queen of Pentacles. So this is your, where you're being really resourceful with your money. You're juggling things. You're making things work. And then you've got the Five of Pentacles because you're still worried a little bit about the money or my, your security, where you want to live, or am I good enough for this person or this job, that sort of thing, having doubts. So this card, Fives, are all about change, choice, freedom. So it's time to use affirmations. Write down, I am really good at my job. I love my job. Or, or you're too scared to go ahead with changes. I flow easily with my changes. I positively move forward in life with love. 
make up an affirmation and write it down for whatever it is that's bothering you. Then you've got the King of Swords, so that's you guys. Don't underestimate your ability. You're very, very good and very, very wise, and you have learned through the school of life. So this is about seeing things logically, seeing things clearly, not necessarily having to get emotionally involved with things. Otherwise, that can be a lawyer or a teacher or an IT person, someone that works with their brain. And then you've got the temperance card. So things aren't happening as fast as you want, but this is a little bit like the magician. You're switching things up, juggling things around, and be patient because it's going to bring about a healing and the change that you want. And then the eight of wands, victory, positiveness, um, an eight. It's about karma, in which I think you're definitely in a karmic week. So information news is coming in really, really fast this week. And also it's success, but it's also you rushed off your feet. You're going to be really, really busy driving around all over the place this week. All round about, because there is no time in the spirit world. But wow, what a fantastic reading. So if you, some of you are looking for new jobs or a new position at a job or a, or a new home or a, or a new car, Ace of Wands, it's covered by the Sun, the Star, the Death card, those four cards together, and the Magician and the Chariot. Wahoo, amazing. Okay, Libra, what do you need to know this week? So I'm using Divine Masters Kyle Gray, love his, his channeled work. So you guys have got Metatron and Sandolphin. A sacred connection. You guys have got a sacred connection, Libra. You've got synchronicity, divine connection, understanding, lessons. So this is all about what you've been going through. You've got somebody that you're absolutely connected to who will guide you, help you. You feel that you can talk to them about things. And you've got that lovely, lovely um, connection. You've probably known them before in a past life too. And then you've got clearing. Remove energy blockages by clearing out unwanted emotional or material clutter so you're probably holding on you, you could be holding on to things that's why you've got that sort of trapped feeling as well holding on to something that's holding you back it can be stale thinking where you're worried something's going to turn out like it did in the past so it's about clearing that and let, letting it go because you've got the most amazing things move beyond that that was the past you're now moving into the future which is totally different it's all new uh, Aquarius, you have got a firm, oh, you've got somebody, uh, Vaj Rayo Genie, sorry, transcending, transcending fear, facing fear leads to fearlessness, embrace your power, so overcome any fears, look at that, face your fears, write your fears down and then write a positive affirmation to clear that fear so that you don't have to face fears, and get rid of them because fear is really some story you've made up in your head it probably won't even happen false emotion appearing real so try your hardest to remove any fears and then you've got affirm create your own affirmations think of words or phrases that inspire you and write them down Aquarius very very important because that will clear any fears when you repeat your affirmations because it tricks your brain and you actually start believing them, and they're, they're probably really good um, and real, that will clear that negativeness. And then Gemini, it's funny, you've got two, two people on here and then two other cards. So you've got Michael and Faith, spiritual calling, divine protection, a breakthrough moment. So you are divinely protected by Archangel Michael and Faith. So have faith, you are being called to... Uh, you're the, sorry, you're being told that you're divinely protected and you're going to have some sort of spiritual breakthrough or some sort of breakthrough. And then you've got goals. It's time for you to take your goals off the back burner and go for them. So set your goals, write them down, go for it. And friends, spend more time with your friends. Share your thoughts with someone who understands you. Okay, Gemini. Okay, lovelies, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate every one of you. See you all again. Ka kiri anō. Bye.